Yeah. This ain't really a life lessons right here because I'm not real sure what's happening. But uh, I don't know if it's like my negative juju I've had here lately or, uh, or if I just look like a straight up low life. But I'm about to tell you a little story. Story time. Okay. Uh, so, as we all know, I manage property. Which basically means that, like, I go out and make money for rich people. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I go out and collect poor people's money to give to the rich people. I'm the middleman. All right, whatever. So, whatever. Anyway, so when I go to a place like Lowe's, I will go to Home Depot because, like, let me tell you this real quick. The reason I go to Lowe's is because I can go in Lowe's and I can ask an ignorant question like, how you do this and this and this? And they'll just tell me. They don't uh, look at me like I'm dumb. They just tell me how to fix it. So I go to Lowe's. But there are two Lowe's in this town that I live in. And they're both on the same road, but this road runs through like three states and like 18 cities just a really long road so on one end of this road there's a Lowe's and on the other end of this road there's a Lowe's well I personally needed a microwave because what happened was my roof started leaking so I had to get a new roof uh, then my dishwasher died and I hired a dude to fix it turns out he was a crackhead so now my dishwasher is like half uninstalled and so I still don't have a dishwasher and then my microwave died. Um, this was after my freezer died. And this is all within four months. So here I am, I go and I buy a microwave. I get a Whirlpool and it's a low profile one because there's not a lot of room from my stove top because that's a new stove top. Uh, it looks like it comes straight off of a spaceship. You gotta push the buttons. It ain't even buttons, it's like a touch screen. They didn't have nothing less techy. So I'd take that, and it beeps at me all the time. Cuts itself on, cuts itself off. Anyway, this ain't what the story's about. I was like, so here my microwave dies, and I'm like, okay, that's fine, because it was born about the same time I was, back in 1980, whatever. And I'm like, gonna go get a new one. Here I go, 500 bucks later, get it home. Takes me two days to install this mofo. My dad ends up helping me. That was a bad idea. Um, get it installed the next day and it starts making the same noise that the other one did. So I take it down, I take it back, I go, but I have to go to this other Lowe's that I don't usually go to. Uh, so, I go to this Lowe's. The other Lowe's, they know. I'm pretty sure I probably could steal from this Lowe's that I always go to. I probably could steal from them and they would just let me. In fact, I did steal from them once. I got in Lowe's and it was for a personal project that I was doing uh, and I needed one more like quart pumped. I don't know, it was like it's big. I needed that much more paint. Okay, I get in there, they mix it for me, whatever. About that time, my mama calls, and she's like, somebody stole money out of my bank account. Da 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 da, my card is missing, and there's money missing. I get so tore up and trying to get to Mamma Cheryl that I walk out of Lowe's with that paint in my hand. I get halfway to Mamma's, I end up crying, ugly crying. I call up Lowe's, I'm like, I just walked out of your store. I don't know if you've called the cop shit or not. The guy was super confused because they didn't even notice I walked out with it. So I turn around and have to go back and pay for my paint. So technically I didn't steal it, but I did there for about five minutes. Anyway, so I get to Lowe's and I, I not only have to uh, get a new microwave again, but I have to um, get light bulbs and plumbing supplies and like a bunch of other shit. So I've got like, oh, sorry. So I've got like uh, several, several transactions, okay? Well. I get there and you know the corona's going on so everybody's got their mask on and um, the lines with the actual cashiers are very long 
and I ain't trying to take my 18 transactions and get in that line and piss people off. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go over here and uh, do it at the self-checkout, which I'm against the self-checkout. I try not to use it because I feel like I'm taking somebody's job when I use it. You know what I mean? So anyway, so I'm over there and I'm scanning my light bulbs and I'm paying for my light bulbs and then I've got the got all my shit there. I got the microwave sitting on top and I'm paying for all my shits and uh, I get done with all the transactions. I'm on my last transaction before the microwave because it's coming out my own pocket. Okay, I'm handling my work shit first. I scan it and I go to slide my card and that little self-checkout lady comes over and she's like, um, you didn't scan that. Did you scan that microwave? And I just look at her. Like she didn't just watch me do three other transactions. Like obviously, I'm on it, bitch. I got it. I ain't, like and if I'm gonna steal something, I'm gonna steal these light bulbs. Or these, uh, these, uh, sink baskets. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna steal a $500 microwave. And I said, I know, I didn't scan it. Okay, well that eat me up. Because listen, I ain't hardly ever dressed fancy. But I don't, I don't hardly ever act a fool, neither. All right, so whatever. I'm telling anybody that'll listen about this because I'm like, can you believe that they that come at me like wait wait for me to get out the door with it okay like at least wait till then and also will you make an hour you know like what you reckon this woman makes ten dollars an hour eleven dollars an hour i don't know but what happens when i like bust out a knife or bust out a gun and take it to you you know is it worth it is it worth it or should you maybe at least wait till I'm headed out the door with some merchandise that I didn't pay for before you start talking to me? And what about me? And I had my hair fixed that day and everything. Like, it, I washed it. It was down. I didn't look like this. I, I looked a little better. I was definitely not stealing shit. I got like four people's credit cards in my wallet because they trust me to go and purchase shit for them and handle their business. Trustworthy. That's all I'm saying. Okay? That's all I'm saying. So then, after I pay for my microwave, my buddy's with me and I'm like, hey, will you just go get the car because I need to get out of here before I, be, before I break this woman's soul off for insinuating that I would steal. And if I didn't need that microwave, I'd have just hit her with the buggy to be like, you know what, bitch, fucking keep it. Excuse me, sorry, bad language, but really upset me. Well, it took me a couple days to get over that, and that was like four days ago, three or four days ago. And then my maintenance man was supposed to show up for work this morning. He did not. Surprise, surprise, because nobody wants to work. They say they want to work, and they definitely want money, but they don't really want to work. I know that for 100. So if you'll get out here, get your hustle on, there's jobs to be had, because people are not used to people working. I don't know what happened. Dude, I was buying my own, I was, I, I was buying my own Nintendo 64 when I was in sixth grade, because I was working all summer long. I'll never forget that. That's back when Walmart had layaway all year, bro. Now Walmart closes early. Anyway, back to my original story. I told y'all I got the ADHD and I need to be medicated. Anyway, <clears throat> I gotta go do maintenance today. And what I did have on, because I didn't know I was gonna do maintenance today, is this cute little shirt. Well, what happens when I bend over in this cute little shirt is my uh, itty bitty self comes out of the shirt. I was like, I got the plumbing and everything that I keep wearing this, so I stopped at the Walmart. Purchased this shirt. Well, and I purchased $90. I go in for a t-shirt. I spent $90. And while I'm 
bringing this stuff up at the self checkout. This has, uh, we don't accept cash or we don't give cash back or something. Something about cash. I'm like, y'all crazy. Anyway, I'm like, you know, I was carrying all this. I probably don't need a bag. I could probably carry it out of here. So I ring it up, I throw it over there, and I put it in a bag. I pay my $90. $90 or something. I pick up all my shit with my receipt. And there's a crap ton of people at the Walmart. Okay, crap ton. Well, uh, switching lanes without meaning to. Uh, I'm in a line. There's a bunch of people behind me, a bunch of people in front of me, coming out the door. Now, there's some rough people out today because it's a, it's a Wednesday in the middle of the morning. So the people that I'm coming out of the Walmart with don't have jobs. Well, they're off that day, but most of them look like they don't have jobs. Yeah, I'm judging, but I'm just saying, I definitely look like I'm going to work. Nobody else there does. Anyway, I'm carrying my stuff, and I got my receipt in my hand, and here's this old woman. Picks me out of the whole lot of people, and she's like, can I see your receipt? you ain't got a bag. I said, I don't need a bag. I'm carrying it. That's just more plastic. Er, sorry. I'm working on it. This big truck trying to get over. I'll get out your way. This old bee looks at my receipt for not even a second. Hands it back to me. Like, if you really think I'm stealing, why don't you count the items on the list? Why don't you count how many items I got in my arms if you think I'm stealing it? And then again, are you security? Because you're like 100 years old. So I doubt you are. And I just want to go back and be like, why'd you pick me? Because here lately, I don't, I don't know if it's my vibe. I don't know if it's my juju. I don't know what it is. But, uh, definitely people be thinking I'm stealing. And that hurts my feelings. Because I tell you the last thing I stole. There used to be this store named Oakwood in my town. I don't know where they got that name. Oakwood. Wood Oak. I don't know. But they had, like, some stores, like, if you go to a gourmet store, they'll give you a bag, and you can, like, uh, get different things in your bag, and then you pay by the pound or whatever. It was kind of like that. I leave with generic candy. And I stole an orange slice. I did. And I'll never forget it. I was, like, probably four or five. And if I could go back, I wouldn't steal it. I just really wanted that candy. And I was raised by my mama. We poor. Hold on. We got it. We got it. Got an extra person in the car. Uh, we was poor. Like I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. He's still in here. He don't want to leave. <clears throat> we get a Coca-Cola on the first of every month. Because that's when she got the Social Security. That's how poor we was. And that's the only son we ever got. We get candy. My kids got the fancy clothes because I'm out here working these jobs, getting her done. And, uh, nah, they wasn't none of that. My, my clothes come from the Walmart. But then, well, that's another story for another day. As I got older, my aunt Yanni hooked me up. She started buying me the clothes at the JC Penny's. Uh, so anyway, I'm very upset that people keep thinking I'm a thief. And I want to know why. I don't get it. I mean, I don't drive a BMW or nothing, but I drive a very fast Honda. I mean, I don't know, it, but it's hurting my feelings. And the next time somebody does it to me, I'm liable to say something. I'm liable to be like, how much do you get paid? If I punch you in the face, or stab you, or pull out a gun on you, would it be worth it? Because I ain't going to do that, but I don't know that the next person wouldn't. 
that you're going to assume is stealing something. So why don't you go on back to make sure everybody's got their mask on while they come into Walmart and just leave the rest of us alone. Because the only reason I can cuss that old lady out is because I'm trying to be a good person. I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to spread joy. I ain't trying to mess you up. But really, it's like I got a resident. I'll tell you this and I'll shut up. I got this one old lady. She thinks that she is security at that complex. Anybody that walks through the parking lot, you can out a cigarette, whatever. She gonna get you. She's gonna jump on you. One time she ran after some teenagers with a knife in her hand because they were walking through the parking lot to get to their location. And I tell her, I'm like, listen, I ain't worried about really who you're gonna hurt, Miss P. I'm worried about who's gonna hurt you. Cause just cause you scream at somebody don't mean they're gonna cower down and be like, she's just an old lady, so I'm not gonna stab her. I'm not gonna punch her cause she's an old lady. Then if Miss P accidentally hurts somebody while she's chasing them with the knife, She'll never forgive herself. I know it. It's not she's a bad person. She's just a little cuckoo, okay? Who anyway, I know you are. You want me sitting here listening to me. Anyways, it's upsetting me terribly. I am not a thief. I hope you have a good day. I hope I have a good day. Probably not because I'm going to have to do plenty of it. But anyway, make good choices. Do something nice for people, for somebody. Don't go off on old ladies. And don't think people are stealing until you see them walk out with something that don't belong to them. Alright, don't forget the make good choices part. Have a good day. I love you.